What's going on, everybody? So today we're going to be taking another look at the Hack GT3C, GT3B with the hacked firmware uh, that you can get that was built by P a, a user online called PSX that uh, built this openware firmware system that gives this three channel radio up to eight channels and like infinite programming. So if you guys don't know a lot about this radio, go check out my playlist, uh, which I will link at the down in the description at the end of the video on this radio and check it out. There's def there's some videos in here about this, about setting it up uh, and everything I kept getting going. Today, we're gonna take a look at how to do a simple four wheel steering install on this. Now, the way I'm gonna show you to program this, there's a few different ways, but you can, I put my I put my four wheel steering on one of these two buttons right here, because basically you can set it up as a three position switch. So basically all the way back would be rear wheel, then back to this one forward would be four wheel steering, then you know, front wheel only, four wheel steering and back. So basically you're stepping through three, you know, through basically rear, all, front, front, all, rear. And then what I do is I set up crab on my third channel right here. You can also set it up on the end or enter button up there, whatever you wanna do. Uh, I find it's easier right here to just have the crab set up right there. So let's get to it and I'll show you guys how to program that. Okay, cool. So, I already showed you where I've got everything set up on my radio. So, let's go ahead and show you guys how to uh, how to program this. Now, like I said in the beginning, you could program this to either one of those side switches you want. You could program it to one of these top buttons. It's really up to you um, which button you want to program your four wheel steering on. Your crab function could go on that third, the one I have mine on. You could put crab on back or end up here. Uh, I mean, theoretically, you could put on one of these, but these you really want to keep as, you know, uh, forward and back, you know, trim, sub trim, stuff like that. Uh, I think those side buttons, those dual rate buttons I showed you before is your best option uh, for setting that up. Uh, your crab, that's up to you. So let's get the radio turned on. Now, like I said, I've got on the Red Cat Clawback, which I showed you guys, but let's go ahead and change that. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just scroll over here to an empty to an empty truck we haven't used. We'll pick this one. Now, if you're you first thing you want to do is go to the name here, long press, which means hold the hold the, the scroll wheel down. Now this is the same on the GT3B. Uh, just realize instead of scrolling up here, you're rotating the dial. Same difference. So right here you notice three. Now I have my radio in the global menu defaulted to three channels. This just makes it easier. So go ahead in this and pick what, how many channels you're running. So like my Defender and my Summit, they run six channels. You could run eight channels. We're just gonna leave this on three because that's what we're defaulted as. So go ahead and back out of there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and short press. We're gonna scroll over here to endpoint. Hold down, long press. Now, we're going to go over here to this one. Now, four-wheel steer, I've been messing with this. Actually, it looks like I've done this before. So, so natively, it's going to be at this. It's going to be at off. Now, four-wheel steer, four-ish four-wheel steer, the D is dig. Dig is going to be if you're running, like, multiple ESCs on multiple motors. Uh, you could set up a dig on, like, a Claude Buster. Or I could even do it on the Red Cat if I had two ESCs. But. So, uh, four-wheel steer, I'm going to want to... Uh, We'll go ahead and leave that like that. So this is what's going to look like when you go into it. So that's my dig. So you're going to see off on four wheels. So you're going to short press. Now you're going to scroll to whatever channel you want to use. I'm going to use channel three as my slave channel. Now let's say you're using a six channel. Basically, this is whatever channel on your receiver you are going to plug your second steering servo in. So I'm going to use channel three. You could use four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever you want to use. Uh, as long as it's not channel one or two. Obviously, that's, you know, one to turn, two to burn. So I'm going to go ahead and choose channel three. This is a percentage. Uh, this is like a mixing thing. I really don't know why this is in here. Um, I guess you're running multiple ESCs. Uh, you could mix and stuff like that. I just leave it at zero. Uh, no big deal there. 
This is crab on or off. I have tried this both ways. I can't see that it makes a difference. So I just leave it at CR0. Uh, that way I set it up this way. All right, so that's, good. that's done there. So go ahead and back out of that. Now we're going to short press again. I'm going to go over here to reverse, long press. Now we're going to scroll down here. So trim one and two buttons on top. That's your side button, side button. And that's your button on the side. Now, obviously, I've been playing with it. So, uh, but we're going to go ahead and use, what do we want to use? Let's set this up on, let's set this up on the dual rate here. We'll just go ahead and, uh, actually, no, we'll leave that. We'll set it up on this one. So, we hit enter. And yours may look different. It just depends on what. So you're going to scroll through these. TC four wheel steering. Short press. Now this is the one you want. No long press. B N L. Enter. Now here's your steps. So since I'm doing a three position, a forward, like front steering, rear steer, four wheel steer. I'm going to set this at 100. That way my steps go negative 100, 0, 100. It makes it a three-position switch. So we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to step it by 100. I do not want to reverse it. I do not want to do that. So right there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll to my, to my button here. This is my, uh, my little side button, my little channel three button. Like there's your back and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Obviously, this one I've been messing with. It's already set to four-wheel steering. Yours will probably set to off. But scroll to it so it says four-wheel steering. Enter. Now, I'm going to do momentary zero. That way, when I hit the button, it stays on. If you go MO1, if you change this, that'll be basically you only have crab while you hold the button down. Now, you may like that. You may not. Um... You know, so basically this chooses whether this is a momentary switch is a like on, off, like click for on, click for off, or momentary is hold the button down, it's on. When you let off the button, it's off. So let's go ahead and just uh, hit enter, short enter here. I do not want to reverse this. I do not want to do that. All right, so we're good to go. So we're going to back all the way out. Now, if we did this right, we should be set up. So if I can get my hand in here, let's see if uh, this works. So, so right there, there is front wheel steer. Okay, so I was doing the trim. I set this up on the wrong button. So basically right there, that's four wheel steer. And that's set up on the bottom dual rate button. So the, uh, the uh, side button right here. So right there is uh, push it forward. That's front wheel steering, four wheel steering, back wheel steering, okay? So now we're gonna hit our, our third channel right here where my finger is. So, so we got crab, no crab, crab, no crab. There you guys go, that's how you can set it up. Now like I said, you can set your crab up on one of these buttons up here at the top if you want to. You could set your four wheel steer to one of these, uh, you know, you could set your, uh, Four wheel steer to one of these trim buttons up here. You could set it to this button here, this button here, either one you want. And you can see my channel mapping video on how you can change these to do whatever you want them to do. These don't have to be trims. Uh, I usually keep mine set as I usually keep this as like a dual rate for my steering. Uh, and then like on my summit, this is my diff locks. Uh, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff with it, but that's a basic four wheel steering setup. Uh, for your rig. If you got any questions, leave it down below. I'll try to help you guys out. Check out the other videos on your Fly Sky Hack GT3C and uh, check out what other cool stuff you can do with this. Like I said, you can set these buttons to do trims, sub trims, expo, dual rates, whatever you want them to do. Your possibilities are endless. Catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.